Over the years, uh, I did a little color stories at the time uh, uh, after Kennedy was killed, and then some stories on the Warren Commission's investigation and their report. And uh, over the years, I began covering the Kennedy assassination and the aftermath uh, pretty much uh, all through the rest of my time at the Post. It's wow. a story that never dies. Wow, still. It just keeps yeah. going and going. It, it does. It's really yeah. uh, a tar baby. <laughs> well, it <laughs> is a tar baby. But you were the person who would always handle that stuff, I guess. Pretty much in the 80s and 90s and late 70s, too, I think. Uh, and uh, I would write about criticisms and critics of the Warren Commission. One of them was a fellow named Harold Weisberg. I wrote knew, several I knew books. Harold Weisberg, he was, yeah. He was uh, likable, but he was a crank and he very opinionated. Right. We would have disagreements over the phone and in person from time to time. And I remember Harold telling me how uh, uh, he was convinced, uh, absolutely convinced, that the uh, Kennedy was shot from the front and that the bullet went made a hole in his neck, nicked his necktie, and went through his shirt. And the threads pointed inward. Mm -hmm. That showed that uh, came from the front. From, from the front. So I uh, went to Earl Inspector, who was senator. De devised the oh, single no, I, bullet I, three. He was not but the he, he was a senator by oh, now. Oh, he was then, yeah. uh, later years. Yeah, when yeah. Weisberg raised this issue with But him. he was also on the Warren Commission, right? Yes, as he was the divider of yeah. the uh, single bullet theory. He was right. on the staff. He was on the staff, that's uh, right. One of the main staffers. And so I uh, asked him about it, what Weisberg had said. I said, what do you think? He said, well, I don't know, George. Why don't you go and look for yourself? So I did. I wrote to the National Archives and uh, got approval, probably with Specter's help, Right. Uh, to uh, look at the shirt and the tie. They brought it out for me and I had to put white gloves well, let's on. Let's back up. Where is that? Out in Maryland? Someplace? No, no or? downtown. Oh, they downtown. Had, they had it downtown. And, you so know, what happens? You're, you're over there and they're going to yeah. bring the shirt out? Or? Yeah, the shirt, the bloody shirt and the, and the tie. And then what year is this? This is in the 70s this, or 80s, you think? I think or, it was in the 90s. The it 90s. was some anniversary. So that would of be the 30 Kennedy years assassination. later? 30 years after? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And uh, I was doing it with Walter Pincus, who I dragged along to the archives. Who with still me. writes for the Washington Post. Yes, I think he thought I was being a bit ghoulish. <laughs> but, anyway. but he somehow found a way to go with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we were doing this series together. Oh, okay. Uh, so here I am poring over the... Uh, shirt and the, and the tie. Did they I had a magnifying wear gloves or glass. Something? Yeah, white gloves. And uh, I wasn't supposed to touch, but I, I and I didn't. And there are people in the room with you watching? Oh yeah, you? hovering. Wow. <laughs> Making sure we didn't uh, tamper with the evidence wow. even accidentally. And the uh, threads all came out outward, this meaning way. a bullet from the back. Uh, Lord help me, but uh, I became a believer in the single bullet theory. Right. I do think there was another shot, but that's another story again. Right, but that uh, wasn't what you were looking at that. No, moment. no. And so was well, it a white shirt or a blue shirt? I'm just curious. It's probably white. I think it was then. white. Everybody wore white then. But, I think uh, pretty much. Yeah, but it was just like the commission's report said. Uh, there was a nick in the knot of the necktie where you could see the bullet went th that through or came out. And uh, there was still blood on the shirt. Wow. And uh, it was an unforgettable experience. That had to be an astonishing experience. And I hate yeah. to say it, but you couldn't have had that experience probably without access. I mean, if Spectre, I think today yeah. getting access to something like that would be a nightmare to imagine. It seems like everything's uh, clamped down a lot tighter today. Perhaps it is. The archives, uh, at least in those days, uh, uh, recognized what 
had to be disclosed as public record. I don't think they had to show those to me, but I, that's why I think Spectre must have wow. given the high sign or something like that. But anyway, uh, I don't think anybody else has ever done that. 